What goes 87 kph and does 85.5 alpha strike pinpoint damage? Well, we will find out in this video. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, greetings Mac Warriors, welcome back to German Mac Engineering. I'm your host TTB of course and today we're going to play the Gargoyle Delta, the Gargoyle with the big D. Let's turn this bad boy around, shall we? And yes, we are running with like beautiful orange and black camouflage and look at this mech. So many lasers for lots and lots of pew. This thing is its own little disco laser show. Let's have a look at the loadout, shall we? Now we're running this thing with uh, a total of six double heat sinks. Yes, I'm mentioning the heat sinks first because we have to talk a little bit about the loadout. Gargoyle D's in the torso, so we can load up two weapons in the CT. We've got the Gargoyle Echo left torso and right torso right here, as well as the Alpha left arm and the Charlie right arm. Now, for the weaponry, we have two Clan ER large lasers, we have four Clan heavy medium lasers, and we have a total of 10 Clan ER micro lasers, giving us a grand total of 10 plus 4 plus 2, 16 different lasers that we can use to shoot the enemy. And this, guys, this is one of the very few builds where it's actually a Swiss army knife and still excellent. You wouldn't believe it. This thing can shoot at targets from, uh, let's say, about 800 meters optimal range down to very close range at 165 meters range. And the closer you get to your target, the more damage you do. How cool is that? Especially for somebody who likes to get into enemies' faces. In order to fit all of that, we have to lower down the legs a little bit, and we have to lower the head a tiny bit, but that is all okay. Lower arm actuator and hand actuators are, of course, present. 87 kph speed, 85.5 alpha strike firepower, and yes, you can alpha strike this with no ghost heat. Heat management here, it lists as 1.19. And that's the problem, guys. This is not a novice build. You gotta be very careful. This is very easy to overheat yourself in. Just remember, you got one alpha, and that is it. Afterwards, you either shoot the ER larges and the heavy mediums or the ER micros, but not both at the same time. Now, for the skill tree, uh, this is what I have gone with, but of course, you might go differently. Um, I have put this mostly on mobility, um, so I get a fast-moving gargoyle. I mean, this is an insanely fast 80 tonner at uh, 87 kph. That thing is uh, as fast as some mediums. But you can also put a lot more emphasis on survival and firepower, meaning range and cooldown. And uh, of course, your mech will be a little bit slower then, but you will have more sustainable fire and you will live a little bit longer. I'll leave it up to you. But to me, this is the build we've, I've been using. So if you want to copy that, it's on screen right now. Full laser duration notes, of course, all the heat gen notes that we can gobble up, as well as some of the cooldown notes. I like this, the Space Invader build, because it looks like a Space Invader. Dup, 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 Then we go into the survival tree, left-hand side, for, uh, of course, a maximum armor. I actually left one point out here. We'll have to steal a point of uh, somewhere, so we'll, we'll find out where we can steal that. Uh, mobility, I chose to go for mobility for speed tweak 1 through 5. That gives us the nice amount of speed. Then in the operations tree, we go down to heat containment 4 and 5. And last but not least, in the auxiliary tree, double cool shot with cool shot cooldown. And that's also the reason why I left out that one armor hardening node, because I felt that I really need the uh, the extra heat gen. There is one way we can actually can get that node. Um, if you use high explosive here, we can deactivate those two cooldown nodes, still get the, the heat gen node, and uh, not be over our 91 points limit. So if you want to cut the corner here, this high explosive one node is the node that you can use to uh, cut down one skill point. All right, enough about the gray theory about this mech, guys. This thing is a lot of fun. Um, it takes some time getting used to, but uh, if you want to try it out, well, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what you can do with it in the following video. So press the thumbs up button, let me know in the comments how the build works for you, and enjoy the clips. Now, the beautiful thing is if you get behind an enemy mech with this mech, Unless it's an atlas or something like that, high chance it just alpha strike it with one, uh, alpha strike kill it with one shot. Heat level critical. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. I don't want to go over there because they're probably sitting in Echo 5. My teammate is checking right now, but... Oh. Target acquired. Hello. Artillery strike online. 
Oh, he sees me. He saw me. Guys, he saw me. The solo king crab fox five. Oh no, he's got missiles. We have friends. Oh, I whiffed it. Okay, he's got no weapons to speak of. I guess can't hit him, but that's alright. We'll hit him plenty in a second here. Does he not realize what's going on? Rip. Ouchie. I almost cooked my arm off. That was a little bit uh, spicy. Come on, get in there. Uh oh. Too toasty. Will you? Die already? There we go. Oh, walk. Yes, 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 give me the. Oh, hang on, hang on. You wanna duck at me? Here, duck at this. Oh, they're good, sir. How goes it with thee on this glorious day? Oh, it's just even, I have to be careful. Ay, yeah, yeah. Did not expect that. Cool down. <laughs> Straight through CT. <laughs> oh, shit. They're over here. Let's go flank. How are you still alive, dude? Target destroyed. Target spotted. New target acquired. Target destroyed. New target. And two targets left. All right. Let's go topside again. La di da. And say hello to the cheetah who flies. Target spotted. Oh, hello. Oh, they felt that one for sure. He doesn't. He doesn't have much left. I think. Uh, unfortunately, my teammate stepped in front of it, so I didn't get the kill. Ah, sad face. He's behind. What? What are you doing behind me, dude? Rip. Okay. Well then, that's uh, five kills. The weapon of ass destruction 2.0. <laughs> God, this thing runs hot. <laughs> <laughs> but the warmer was great. He must have been like slightly damaged on the CT. Just one alpha straight through it. <laughs> you don't see it coming. You don't expect it. Five killing blows, four assists, one solo kill, two KMDDs, 803 damage done, 400 damage taken, seven components destroyed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. And yeah, together with the IV4 and the champion. Like Alpha Lance was cleaning house quite nicely. Other Corsair did well as well. Um, rest of the teammates were present. GG. There he is again. Okay, somebody marked him. Very good. Punch pick 4P. He's got friends. Whoa. Okay, hit the dead dude. That's nice. Um, am I gonna be alone here? I'm probably gonna be alone here. But well, whatever. Let's see. Artillery strike online. New target acquired. So I sniper is level seven. Go up behind them. Should be able to kill them easy. But only go if you're fast. Target go spotted. Below 80 or something. New target acquired. There's a hunchback again. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh. Okay. Target spotted. Marquino. I'm coming to help you with the fire starter. Marquino, come back, X7. Lure him into us. We're just in circles and we can do it. Heat level critical. Heat level critical. Target Rip. destroyed. Marquino, next time, bait them in towards 
Oh dear. <laughs> he got killed with missiles. Artillery strike on you want us to push? Uh, I want to become a miss here. Yes, Fox 6. New target acquired. Watch the right side. Lurum assaults with our. Fuck is on me. That was a random RD. It's probably not gonna do much. Uh, I'm not doing as much, much damage as I want to be doing right now. I'm gonna go for that Lurum boat. I got Juliet. Ignore Juliet, I got him. Uh, of course, they're all gang banging up on that Juliet now. Let's go ahead and uh, mute this gentleman here because he's annoying me with his blah. Especially if he's running ATMs. <laughs> Who wait for the up for the push to choke point? <laughs> the taters getting tactical. TT tactical taters. Oh, hello there. New target acquired. Can I finally push here? These guys are going for maximum distance for everything. Oh, you're dead. I said you're dead. Okay, never mind then. Too many little hills. Get caught up on. Now we fight, hopefully. Oh, not. Wow, cool. Uh, thanks, BJ. This hero hit. Heck, we shouldn't do much. At least he's dead. Toasty. Target destroyed. Oh, I have done so many times. Target acquired. He's facing the whole team alone, so yeah. Heat level critical. There we go. Target destroyed. The amount of whining and useless voice comes in this round is impressive. Target acquired. Really? Target spotted. We can cicada. Target Are you going downstairs? No. Just gonna run. Torso, critical damage. Target destroyed. When you have a gargoyle that is not stopping, you have assaults that are not stopping in the rotation, you cannot stop. Warriors, you have taken the target. We are victorious in battle. Just to let these guys know that really have I heard so much whining in Pepega in this match. Two kills, uh, one solo kill, three KMDs, 756 damage done, 420 damage taken, four components destroyed. GG. Also top damage in the team by far. Champion on the enemy team did really well, as well as the quick draw. And Cicada also deserves a shout out of 600 damage, it's also really nice. But uh, all this blah was impressive. And if you look at the uh, damage numbers offset blah, you... well... It's MWO, what do you expect guys? GG